What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Uh, I think we got the volume straightened out this time, guys. This last video, wow. Uh, when I put it on, let's put it this way, it almost blew me off the chair. Um, I guess when I restarted, somehow it just automatically goes to whatever volume it wants. I think it was like 89. Um, I usually have it set at right around 52 for the microphone. So, yeah, so my apologies for that. All right, this video. Is there an atmosphere on Mars? And, of course, it's overwhelmingly yes. Um, it's very thin. Uh, not much goes on there. It's a dr dry, cold, desolate planet. I flag bullshit. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because of two reasons. I'm going to bring two points to you guys, and of course you guys can weigh in, because one, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a, you know, uh, atmospheric specialist or scientist. So, you know, uh, but I'm going to try to throw a little common sense in this real quick, and you guys tell me what you think. Okay. I'm going to show you videos taken this month, I think it was uh, September 5th, uh, 2014, where it shows, actually they talk about curiosity, but for some reason this is a picture right from Opportunity, where it shows clouds. And I'm going to show you that right now. Um, right here. Curiosity in the clouds. What's funny about it is they talk about curiosity. Curiosity celebrated, you know, two years, Mars, you know, August 5th, blah, 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 blah. But right under here, it says <laughs> clouds that are probably composed of ice crystals and possibly supercooled water droplets were caught in images by NASA's Opportunity rover. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. Um, I don't care from what rover it's from. But what's funny about it, hmm, black and white picture. Wonder why. Anytime, to me, these remind me of cirrus clouds. And I believe that's what these are. And what's funny about it, I've always seen wispy clouds are always in a blue sky. Clear blue sky. At least here on Earth. Um... Why don't they have any color in it at all? Hmm. Imagine that. But, so now I'm thinking of this. I'm saying, okay, let me look up clouds just to make sure because I may be way off base here. Um, but right off the bat, to, to, if I'm not mistaken, because I was pretty decent in science uh, in school, both that and uh, science and uh, math and so on. Um, this was due to weather changes. You know, upcoming weather change. You see these wispy clouds starting to come in and then they get thicker and thicker and so on and so forth. But, so I decided to look up different clouds you know, uh, different cloud forms and so on and so forth. And I went on, I found this one here. This is from NOAA uh, Weather. And you see right here, well, this is, you know, Weather Service uh, uh, Weather Forecasting. And this is, the, you know, they tell you here's a cirrus. Cirrus, uh, cirrus cumulus, and you got stratus. Stratocumulus and uh, nimbostratus. And you got uh, alto cumulus and then cumulonimbus. These are the tall ones you usually get these lightning storms and everything else from. Um, and they'll tell you the height of them and where you can where they'd be from in relation to the ground. Of course, that depends on. I believe it was uh, got to do with the time of year, or so on and so forth. But right here, to me, that's what they look like. And then they thicken up. So far, you know, you can see right here, cirro stratus. Um, anyway, it says cirrus clouds are wispy, feathery, and composed entirely of ice crystals. They are often first sign of an approaching warm front or upper level jet streak or jet stream, as we know it. So hmm. So we know it's warm there, and I think I told you guys, because I even read this, and I'm sure you guys did too, that at the equator on Mars, it could be 70 to 80 degrees. I think it gets hotter. Has anybody, now, now which, you know, I'm going to segue into dust devils. You guys can, you know, tell me if I'm wrong or not, but it seemed to me, every time I've seen a dust devil, um, it's always been at least 85, 95 degrees out. Now, I'm not saying you can't get them at 60 or 70 degrees because I've seen them where they just kind of like swirl on the ground a little bit. They might be like a foot or two high. It's just like a just wind kind of just throwing around and then it just disperses. Where, where it's hotter, the more it actually builds up, okay? And the more you see more of a funnel. Um, I remember years ago, uh, my mom used to do a lot of flea marketing and we used to be up at each, each uh, you know, it was East Greenwich, Rhode Island and uh, it was a large... Uh, you know, uh, flat ground. It was all, you know, dirt and so on and so forth. And there had to have been three, four vendors there at least. I, it might even have been more than that. Um, I remember one starting. And we were set up there. And uh, I remember seeing this guy's. Oh, my God. I remember the guy's stand because he had, like, all kinds of furniture. And it picked up this solid oak chair. And it just threw that thing like a pretzel. Um, and it was just crazy. It was coming directly at us. It was kind of like dancing upon the ground and coming towards us. I'm going, we're in trouble. The only thing that saved us was, I don't know if you guys remember these uh, big velvet, remember those big velvet pitches? They were really big time in the 80s, where they had like the lions with these bright pastel colors, uh, pa uh, pastel colors rather. And it was like, it had everything from lions, it would be like forest, and I think they even had the uh, infamous black naked woman on these things. It was just funny. Um, but anyway, they had a, somebody had, uh, it was in a big tractor trailer, 
and they just dropped the trailer there, and it was like taking up three, four spots right in front of us. That's what stopped it. It literally hit the trailer. The trailer wobbled, and it diffused that little dirt devil. Uh, and we were thankful for that. But I remember it was 80s to 95 degrees out that day. Okay, here's some dust devils that were taken from the Spirit, spirit uh, Rover. Check these guys out. Check these things out. Look at them all. Okay, so we've got... Look at all these things just dancing upon the ground here. Heck, there's like five, six of them at a time just, just dancing around on the ground. Um, even if there's three to four, who cares? And you can see the counter here <clears throat> on the screen on the actual different frames as it's going along. Uh, there's quite a bit there. So now we've got dust devils and we've got clouds. Okay. So it's got to be hotter than, you know, what they're, to what they're telling us, period. Um... I'm going to say it's probably in the 80s and 90s here. Okay. Now, I'm no, like I said, I'm no expert, but if you've got 80s and 90s degrees, that means you're going to have water evaporation. Okay. If you've got water evaporation, then it's going to form clouds like this right here. If you've got enough vapors in the clouds, it will drop rain. It will drop because it gets too heavy for the clouds and it can just drops them. Therefore, you have a water cycle. Therefore, you've got some kind of environment on Mars. Plain and simple. Um, you can have plant life. It doesn't, I mean, how many plants do we have here on Earth that barely use any any kind of uh, moisture or rain? Cacti, other different plants that use hardly any water at all. So, you can't tell me there's no plant life, and we've already known. I mean, look at my buddy uh, Will's videos. He has, um, it shows lakes, and I've seen these pictures myself. Lakes, uh, forest. In fact, I've done a few videos on them myself. It looks like forest and everything all over, and it's got structures in between them all. So, yeah, I don't think they're telling us to full skinny here, guys. I think they're just full of crap. Um, this is case in point. Where's this color of the sky? It just doesn't make sense. So they're hiding that pot, and it's like, you know what? These things are equipped with colored cameras, but damn, just couldn't happen to get a colored one that day. I don't know what it is. Come on, man. Um, so like I said, in re you know, so just going over this, clouds mean moisture. And, you know, some people argue, well, it is a thin atmosphere, so you can have thin... Uh, clouds in, basically, it, you know, it won't rain. And that's true. You don't get enough moisture in the clouds. It will not drop, you know, they will not get so heavy that they'll drop. So you will not have any precipitation. True. If it's as hot as they say it is, you've got an ecosystem on this planet. And from these dust devils to these clouds, I'm telling you right now, there's an ecosystem on this planet. Now, of course, you guys can weigh in. Maybe I'm way off base here. Let me know what you think. I mean, if you know a little bit more about the weather and these kind of things, uh, uh, maybe you've uh, went to college for this stuff or whatever, just fill us in, you know? Because I'd be curious. To me, this looks like, um, like I said, these are serious clouds. And uh, you, like I said, and, and I was correct, it said something about, uh, uh, you know, it's basically showing there's an uh, approach of a warm front. Okay, warm fronts, we got, you got to have hot temperatures. Um, where is it right here? I'll show you right. Dust devils. Dust devils are formed when hot air, doesn't say cold, doesn't say lukewarm, hot air and near the surface uh, rises quickly through a small pocket of cooler, low-pressure air above it. If conditions are just right, the air may begin to rotate. As the air rapidly rises, the column of hot air is stretched vertically, therefore moving mass closer to the axis of rotation, which causes intensification of the spinning effect of the con conservation of angular movement. The secondary flow in the dust devil... Uh, causes other air, uh, I'm sorry, other hot air to speed horizontally inward to the bottom of the newly formed vortex. As more, as more hot air ru uh, rushes to, uh, I'm sorry, in. To, <laughs> hold on, let me shut this phone off. I can actually see this thing going off on the right hand side of it. It's messing me all up here. As more hot air rushes in toward the developing vortex to replace the air that is rising, the spinning effect becomes further intensified and self-sustaining. A dust devil, fully formed, is a funnel-like chimney through which hot air moves both upwards and in a circle. As the hot air m rises, it cools, loosening its buoyancy and eventually ceases to, to rise. So here you go, guys. And here's one right here. And this is in Iraq. You can see that right there. Here's another right here. There's a video here. I'll give you guys the links to this. I mean, it's not warm air. It's not cold air like they're saying. It's not like, you know... It's, so there's hot air masses and if you've got hot air, like I said, if there's any kind of water on the ground, and I believe that there is. I mean, I've seen pictures where it's right next to the rover, and it looks like you had, like, uh, like uh, real uh, dry dust. And, you know, like, it just starts draining, like it sprinkles. You can see all these little round, wet dots. I've seen that. So we know it rains. you got a water cycle. you got an ecosystem. 
That's just mine, and I'm not saying I could. It's it's again. This is all speculation, but I if I if, if my memory serves me well, uh, I believe it. I, I believe that's what the case is. You guys can tell me what you think. Um, I'm just like when I see this stuff here, it just um, it's just crazy. Oh, by the way, this is a this is a funny one too. Curiosity celebrated two years on Mars on August 5th, 2014, and is continuing its prog progress across the surface of the planet. The rover has already fulfilled one of its primary missions, goals to confirming the environment's theoretically capable of supporting microbial life, where once present on ancient Mars. Ooh, microbial. Again, we've been there since the 70s, but yet, we're just still looking for it, guys. Now Curiosity is continuing its journey toward the slopes of Mount Garbage. Oh, I mean, Sharp, rather. And is currently headed for an outcrop dubbed Pahrump Hills. Okay. In a tweet on September 2nd, 2014, Curiosity showed its view of the path ahead and proclaimed, Head for the hills. I'm driving towards these hills on Mars to do geological, well, say ge geological, doesn't really matter, geology, work it, and also search for clouds. Hmm. You mean to tell me that thing, soon, as soon as they landed on the planet, they decided to just have that camera take a look around? Come on, man. See, I think they're slowly letting the cat out of the bag. Because think about it, if they go, ooh, now we found out, let's say they slip it out later on. Oh, uh, yeah, I think there, there might have been an ecosystem, maybe not even long ago. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I think we did. We finally found trees. We found grass. Oh, wait a minute. So I think they're letting this stuff out very slowly. Um, clouds are part of the clim uh, planet's climate system, explained Haberel. Oh, I think it's Haberel. Uh, their behavior tells us about winds and temperatures. Studying weather and clouds on Mars today can shed light on processes that have shaped the planet's climate through time. So, again, I mean, now suddenly they're worried about the temperatures and everything? Come on, man. They already knew this. They got, you know, we got orbiters out in space um, that are already checking the atmosphere. They already know this stuff. I, I don't know. Um, you guys can weigh in. Let me know what you think. I thought this was just pretty interesting. I thought you guys might want to see this. And as far as I'm concerned, like I said, if you got... If you've got hot temperatures, you've got evaporation. If you've got evaporation, you've got clouds. You've got clouds, you've got enough moisture in it, they're going to drop water. you got yourself, like I said, you've got yourself a, a water cycle going on. And to me, if you've got a water cycle, you've got life. It's as simple as that. Um, and people will say, well, it's mostly carbon. You know, I don't want to hear that. You know, you'd be surprised. Go in the uh, Antarctic and look at the life forms. And heck, they look like they're all like these uh, color-emitting fish. In, you know, sub-freezing temperatures in the ocean. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't know those existed. Yeah, we do now. How long have we been on this planet? We're just discovering this now? Yeah. We don't know everything there is to know about our planet. So how are we going to know everything about Mars? And what they do know about Mars, they're doing their best to cover. So uh, that's all I've got to say on the subject. And like I said, between the clouds here and the dust devils here, I don't know. You guys weigh in. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be curious because, like I said... Um, you know, I know there's a lot of other people here that would love to weigh in and tell me what they think. Um, is there an ecosystem there? Do you think there is one? Uh, do you think there's a water cycle? Um, do you think they're hiding it? Do you, or do you just think, nah, it's just a couple of wispy clouds, nothing more than that. And, you know, it's just, uh, yeah, you, it's just really nothing there. Weigh in. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Spread these videos. Uh, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you guys are on board with these. Um, and just, uh, you know, like I said, give me your take. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Got some, another, some more cool ones coming up for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And that's it. We'll see you next pick.